I'm Tulsa World Meteorologist Kirsten Lang. Thanks for joining me. It is Saturday and uh, we are looking for some changes in our forecast as we head throughout the afternoon and evening. An upper level disturbance is going to be moving across the area and that is going to be bringing us a chance for seeing some showers and storms down here in and around the state. So what that looks like again, upper level trough pushes off towards the north and northeast. Down here at the surface, we're going to be seeing an increased cloud coverage, also some very gusty winds ahead of this front as it moves through and then some showers that start to spark up. So these showers will start to develop just light showers for the first half of the day. If you have any plans outside, really not anything to cancel them over. Just know that you may get a couple of little showers in and around parts of eastern Oklahoma as we head throughout the first half of the day with cloud coverage and again very windy conditions. Now it won't be until the evening that we start to see the chance for showers and storms to develop and we may see some of these storms become stronger to possibly severe heading in towards uh, that afternoon rather evening hour. So that's about 6 p.m. for you. They'll continue to move across the state as we head through that 9 to 10 o'clock hour. Closer to midnight still kind of lingering right around that I-44 corridor. You'll notice that these showers kind of hold on as this front takes its time kind of to sweep across the state throughout the afternoon and evening uh, and really it won't be until Sunday afternoon that we start to see some clearing uh, here in eastern Oklahoma with that. So again as I mentioned a few of these storms on Saturday night do have the potential of being stronger to severe and it's going to be hail and gusty winds up to 60 miles per hour uh, that will be the main threat with that. The tornado risk for this is pretty low so again hail and gusty winds will be the main thing that we look for with these storms if they do become stronger to severe. Otherwise uh, some widespread rainfall is possible for us as we head throughout uh, the throughout the weekend. We'll be looking for anywhere from about one to possibly two inches of rainfall. Definitely seeing a higher rainfall totals down towards the south, even farther south than that I-40 corridor. All right, so for today, for your Saturday, uh, we are going to be looking for that chance for showers and storms to pick up as we head into the uh, afternoon and evening hours. First half of the day, we'll be seeing partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies with just a few sprinkles here and there. But again, windy, as I was mentioning, with those south winds and temperatures still getting up into the 80s. Now for tonight, we'll see uh, sh showers and thunderstorms across the area as lows get down only to around 57 degrees. That front moves through as we head into Sunday and we'll be seeing cooler temperatures back behind that. So the cooler air filters in for the second half of the weekend starting into Next week, though, we get a little bit of a break as far as uh, any precipitation chances go. A dry spell for you there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, temperatures staying in the 60s and 70s, and then you're back in the 80s by Thursday of next week.